Hey guys, Seleno here from playtoearn.net. In today's video, we'll be talking about a couple of blockchain games that you can add to your watch list if you are a fan of open world games. If you are the type of player who doesn't like being confined to a certain space and want to do exploring of your own, this might be the game genre for you. So without further ado, here are the top 5 open world blockchain games. First up on our list, we have Illuvium. You might be thinking Illuvium is just an auto battler, but there's actually more to it than just that. Illuvium is an open world exploration game, an NFT creature collector game, and an auto battler game all combined into one. It is being built on the Ethereum blockchain. I understand why you might think it is an auto battler because that is what gameplay footage has been released so far. But in order to get the Illuvials you use in that mode, you have to capture them first. In the open world RPG mode, this is where you can control your character and travel the overworld where you can mine, harvest, capture, and fight Illuvials. Illuvials are beasts that roam the overworld. These are what you can think of as the Pokemon that you have to catch. Illuvials also have affinities and classes. Affinities are their connection to the five elements of the world, which are water, fire, earth, air, and nature. The class of an Illuvial can be one of five, which are fighter, guardian, rogue, scion, and empath. Similar to other RPGs, the class of your Illuvial determines how it performs in combat. Once you've captured some Alluvials, you can then participate in the second aspect of the game which is the Auto Battler Arena. You place your units on the field, in this case the Alluvials you own, and when the round starts they fight against the other team. These affinities and classes are also important in this Auto Battler part because if your team has more synergies with each other, they will unlock bonuses in the fight. Having multiple Alluvials that are fire or multiple fighter classes for example will have bonus effects. By winning in tournaments or completing PvE quests, you can earn ILV, the game's token. You can also earn by capturing rare alluvials and collecting resources to sell them on the Alluvidex, the game's marketplace. Up next, we have Gold Fever. Gold Fever is a free-to-play and play-to-earn survival RPG game built for the blockchain. In Gold Fever, players can use their characters with different strengths and weaknesses to fight with players from the other faction for a chance at rewards. There are several ways to play the game, either by being a player, a merchant, or a capitalist. Being a player immerses you in the open world of the game, where you have to choose a faction between tribal or adventurer and a role with its own specialties. Under the adventurer faction, the roles are prospector, medic, and hunter. And under the tribal faction, the roles are forager, sorcerer, and warrior. The main game mode in Gold Fever is the arena mode that happens when a mining claim is used by capitalist players. When this happens, players have to rush towards the area on the map opened up for mining, and those who arrive first have a chance to join the match. Adventurers can get gold by using the tools and abilities they have to extract it from the river, while tribals will be rewarded based on how much gold they take back from adventurers. During the game, players also have to consider environmental threats such as attack from animals, natural disasters, and harsh climates. Each player will have 5 basic attributes, which are health, energy, food, hydration, and conditions. All of these will matter during a match, so players have to keep their stats in mind. A lot of NFT items exist in the game such as weapons, potions, and tools that players can use. Merchants can also sell or rent out NFTs like planes, boats, and mining tools to players to help them traverse the map and mine gold. The game feels a lot like Far Cry, so if you play that series, you have an idea what this is like. Gold Fever is free to play for everyone, so no need to buy an NFT to start playing. If you're enjoying this list so far, you can check out our website at playtoearn.net. We have different categories you can search from, so you can actually find what you're looking for. Now let's get back to the video. The third game on our list is Big Time. Big Time is a multiplayer action RPG where you can team up with friends and adventure across time and space. You can fight through procedurally generated dungeons and have a chance to earn NFT loot. In Big Time, you choose a character in a class and you can explore the world and fight dungeons with friends to defeat enemies and earn rewards. The game features third-person action gameplay with four different classes to choose from. Time Warrior, Chronomancer, Shadowblade, and Quantum Fixer. Each class has a different specialty and playstyle similar to what you would expect from typical RPGs. Big Time's timeline system allows you to level up the same character in multiple class paths and also to freely switch between them depending on the needs of your team. Aside from your class, there are also different weapon choices to consider depending on your playstyle. Weapons have 5 stats to consider, with each weapon having different ratio of these stats. These are damage, speed, range, combo, and blocking. Each player also gets a time machine that they can decorate with all the artifacts they get from their adventures. You can also invite your friends to hang out in your time machine and go exploring after. You can team up with up to 6 players to raid procedurally generated dungeons, with AI filling the spot if the team is lacking. Dungeons can reward you with NFT items that you can sell on the game's marketplace. And outside dungeons, you can interact with other players in social spaces and open world levels. 
The main way of earning is by getting NFT loot that you can find in dungeons while playing. You can then sell these NFTs to other players if you are ever lucky to find a rare one, which can then be bought using Ethereum, Bitcoin, USDC, or even debit and credit cards. Big Time is currently in early access, but you can check out their website for more details. The fourth game on our list is Ember Sword. Ember Sword is a free-to-play MMORPG with a player-driven economy, a classless combat system, and tradable cosmetic collectibles. In Ember Sword, players create a character, pick a home region, and venture into the mysterious world. The world of Ember Sword, Thanabus, is split into four nations: Solarwood, a life in the woods; Duskaron, the nation of traders in the desert; Severand, a jungle nation with alien beasts; and Edisu, the nation in the frigid tundra. There are several features in Ember Sword that players can enjoy. There is a PvE experience where players can fight and defeat monsters they come along as they explore the world, and there is also a hardcore PvP mode players can engage in when they encounter people of the opposite nation. The game also has an immersive storyline you can follow where players meet new characters and make new friends along the way as they go through several challenges. And like typical RPGs, the game also has a skills and profession system where players can improve their character traits. Aside from combat, players can also do other activities such as mining, fishing, woodcutting, and crafting. Doing any of these improve your skill level in that activity which can unlock new abilities or improve efficiency. Since the game is an open world MMORPG, there are a lot of ways to play it and it all depends on how the players would like to go about it. You can be the best boss hunter in the world or the most famous blacksmith of weapons, it's all up to you. Ember Sword will be free to play, but players can also buy land for more perks. You can check out their website for more details. And for the last game on our list, we have Age of Rust. Age of Rust is a story-driven first-person action-adventure puzzle game built on engine. In Age of Rust, players can explore the dark sci-fi world of the future to fight enemies, find clues, and solve puzzles for a chance to earn rewards. To get started with the game, you don't have to pay for anything or buy anything. The basic game is free to play for everyone. The game has multiple rewards levels for solving puzzles, and to get access to those puzzles, you'll need some of the game's NFTs, called tokens. You can either buy these tokens or you can also get them in-game as bounties for solving special puzzles. There are two types of tokens in the game, equipment tokens and mission tokens. When you have equipment tokens, you can unlock special items in the game to help with puzzles, unlock minigames, and access to some special areas. The second type, the mission tokens, are the most valuable because they are your passport to unlocking those higher levels. Think of them as DLCs that you have to buy to access more parts of the game. There's also a possibility of finding them while playing, so if you're good enough, no need to buy. There are 8 mission tokens in total, but you only need one of them to unlock all the missions. The last light token and the origin token are special, and are considered gold card tokens. Having these will unlock all future games in the Age of Rust franchise. Owners also unlock a special Discord channel for access to early screenshots, developer info, and other game sneak peeks. The game puts a heavy focus on solving puzzles throughout your adventure. Puzzles will be the way you earn crypto assets like their tokens while playing the game. Combat and health mechanics will also play a big role, and there will also be NPC interaction to help keep things interesting as you progress. Rust Bits are the official token of the game and will be used to buy in-game items. Holders will also be eligible for airdrops in the future, and Rust Bits will also be the default in-game token for all future game releases from the developers. Their open beta on Steam ended last year, and a full release is slated for 2022. Check out their website for more details. And that's a wrap for today's list of games. For those of you who love open world gameplay and exploring massive areas, these could be the games for you. Which game on this list would you play? Let me know in the comments. And for more info on everything about blockchain games, check out our website at playtoearn.net, where we have the largest database of games that have all the info you need. That's it for today, see you next video.